Welcome to Cologne 2019 Gamescom. As you see behind me, here are some of the titles that are going to be presented today during press. So it's 9 in the morning right now. Beautiful day. We'll see what the day brings. So as part of the show audit, I'll be going through some of the exhibits here, showing uh, some of the notable properties. So here we are uh, at Planet Zoo. This is kind of a nice space. It's got some natural materials. Uh, relatively inexpensive, but they have a cool entryway there with some bamboo and some interesting lighting elements as well. Here's the Capcom booth. Overall, I think it's a success, but they have this odd tent in the middle, which looks a little bit tacky, but the rest of the space, they kind of have a nice theme going. That's a success. Well, it looks quite nice. This space is themed out very well, but again, the centerpiece right there, the tent, not the best central element. Yeah, many times. Sports are huge, and here at Gamescom is no exception. And here you see the team play. And then here on the side as well, they have uh, some simulators, some racing simulators. I actually did the racing simulator. It's quite interesting. Um, I thought it would be better, but some of the sense of speed is lost through the VR. And the resolution on the VR obviously is not what it will be one day. But overall, uh, it's a success. It's got a big open area in the middle where people are not paying. So I would say overall, it's a good one. Schön bunt, das Hemd. Kannst du mal hochkommen? Hier mit dem Puma Shirt gerne. Einmal auf die Seite, genau. So, und jetzt, äh, wie viel habe ich denn? Ja, komm, dann kommt hoch. Ja, aber, nee, du nicht. Nee, nee, sorry. Ach so, ach du, du willst nicht, aber er kommt rein. Ach so, ah, okay, Entschuldigung. Mein Name ist falsch verstanden, Alter. So, und dann hier die junge Dame noch, sehr schön. Perfekt. So, dann sind wir voll zählig. Ja, einmal hier an die Geräte. Ihr werdet gleich eingeladen, wenn ihr es nicht schon geworden seid. Behind me is the PlayStation. Overall, I'd say this is relatively boring. There's not really much going on, and you see it's just washed in white light. There's a lack of theatrical elements in here, a lack of theatrical lighting. It's just overall not very interesting. Uh, just simple graphics. Uh, just, it's just not the best. It could be much better for a brand like PlayStation. Uh, to me, it seems like it should be better. Typical Gamescom fashion, I mean, there's just rows and rows of screens. Like you 
behind me, you see what I'm talking about. There's your screens and stations. It's just an overhead element like what we see here, and then just screens and stations. So down at ground level, it's a little bit underwhelming, but the overall impression is quite good. So behind me, you see the HP stand. And so the problem with this is that it's just overload with the name. I mean, they're just open and everywhere. Uh, so one or two, possibly three logos is good enough. This is a case in point of just logo overload. Although, the space itself looks quite nice, it's well lit, uh, they got a nice screen, a uh, good use of color, there's just too, too, too many logos on it. So, here we're at the board space, and this is quite interesting what they have, it has an attention grabber, is this, uh, this racing simulator, which goes on these very powerful hydraulic pieces, which makes it a spectrum of sorts, and so it's interesting and cool in that respect. Um, they don't have a video feed of the actual person on the screen, which is a miss, in my opinion, but overall, it's an attention grabber of which I think Here's the outdoor area. Uh, as you can see, people dressed up in costume, although definitely not nearly as widespread or common as uh, an event like uh, Comic-Con or E3, but you definitely see some costumes around here, and they have a nice open courtyard with some food. Here's the beach too. This is quite nice. Heavily themed. It has a typical beach too. You can see it's well lit. Uh, very nice speed elements. And the speed as well. Large quality, plus quality media. More THQ themed elements here. This is quite nice. Built out of wood. Really deep on the top. This is well done, well executed. Just walking in the North Hall from with the north entrance from Hall 6 and 7 toward Hall 9. Check back in once we get there. Facebook Gaming. They have some very interesting and cool experiential elements in here. Like these interactive games where you actually are uh, playing with a ball or doing some dance movements and it's interacting with the, with the game itself. So these are fun and interesting. And it doesn't seem like the lines are too long, so that's really good. Uh, as far as the architecture itself, they have a nice uh, angular look to the space. Some lighting. how they have these angle pieces with the two fighting built in and what you're seeing there is a match, a steel match. So that has a cool, clean, high-tech feel to the space, it's really nice. Uh, and they also have some interesting contrasting colors you just see here. So this is really well done. This is really well done you can see people in there as they're interacting. Another view of some of the interactives. Here's TK. Borderlands 3 rose motif. So this is actually quite nice. These some oversized roses that they have here in the corner. Adds a nice touch right as people come in. So, uh, you know, since that's such a prominent element of the game, it makes sense that, uh, uh, that they would make that a prominent element. And then, as you can see, it's a cool photo op experience uh, being able to get your picture in front of these oversized roses. Ich will euch geben. Ja gut. Ja, gut. Ja, gut. Ja, gut.
Das war cool, schon seit 15 Jahren, das brauche ich nicht. Hat ihr noch mal ganz schön? einfach zu viel in X. So behind me in the 2K space, uh, you see the big wide open space there in the middle for uh, the press events and other uh, type of uh, presentation. They might have games or t-shirt giveaways and whatnot. So this is nice, a big open area in there. So, earlier this was full of people and going crazy, right now they're taking a break. Here's another corner of the 2K space. This area seems like an afterthought. Uh, it's just game stations on pedestals and graphics and some lighting. I mean, it's, there's nothing really here that's interesting, at least not to the level of the rest of the space. Here's the Dragon Ball space. This is kind of strange. Uh, you know, they have their giant dragon hanging from the ceiling. I don't really know branding to speak of. They have some, maybe some Chinese characters up there which nobody can read. Uh, and just like, overall, the lighting is really harsh. Uh, there's no theatrical element at all. Um, in my opinion, this space is a fail. Uh, it just looks boring, uninviting, and. Uh, the lighting is just it's really terrible. So here you see the EA space. This is similar to the Xbox space. In the sense that, uh, they have this entire back wall of the hall uh, to do something interesting with. And you can see the difference here. Really, all they have is LED there in the middle and then just some graphics uh, along the back wall. So uh, to me, it's a missed opportunity. You can do much more here. This is a title I haven't heard of before, Nightmares 2. And in the grand scheme of things, this is quite nice because you can see that they got a lot from what they spent. They kept it from becoming this huge, open, boring space and kind of focused their dollars into something that's interesting and cool. So there is open space, but at least the floor is covered and they have some cool elements in there. So here we are at the Google Stadia, YouTube Gaming Stand. Quite nice, open, uh, bright, uh, lots of moving media. Uh, even on this side right here, as we, as we move around to the side, you see in the upper right corner you've got a slide, so that's part of the engagement. Go in, see the slide, as we come down where you see the green screen, that is a uh, one time engagement where several cameras take a picture of you simultaneously and then email you the, the movie as it goes back and forth in the freezing time. Okay. Uh, as far as this hall is concerned, this is definitely the most interesting stand in the Hall 9. Uh, it's got the most presence, the best lighting, uh, and lots of digital uh, AV. So that always that always attracts a lot of interest. One really interesting uh, aspect of this Google stand is that you can actually go behind these screens. So there's a passageway that goes in through and behind the screen. So uh, you can actually move around the space quite easily. The so one really interesting thing about this Google Stadia space is this slide. And so just how it's done visually is really nice. And then uh, as you can see, there's an elevator built into this space. So it's coming down right now. They have this tower of edge lit cubes as well, kind of drawing attention to this elevator. And so overall, it's really well done. It brings a lot of attention to this area of space. And then over to the left, you see how they have the slide there. So the slide itself is quite nice too, with lighting built in. You got the logo up there. Definitely successful. Here we are at the Samsung space. This is, I mean, it's okay, uh, but it's slightly confusing. They have a lot of that bedding, which is used by the military typically to camouflage their ground stuff from planes. Uh, and they have it all around this, this space. So, 
assuming it has something to do with one of their games, but it just seems off-brand for Samsung, which typically is a bit cleaner, higher tech, uh, than this military kind of four-inch stuff that they have all over the place. So, at first glance, it's a mess. Here we are at the Netflix stand, and what you're seeing is a little bit online for ice cream. Out there with ice cream cones, this is where you get them, and there is a line to match. So, uh, I'm not even gonna do more experiential elements. It's like a vault, so just people are lining up to get into. It really has something to do with one of their shows. I don't know which one. But overall, this booth, although simple in its architecture, is well thought out as far as the experience. Uh, ice cream is definitely a big the rest of the engine area is quite nice, it's simple. The screens are just arranged in an interesting pattern. The name is simply up there with nice lighting. It's not overdone, it's not overthought. The straight type of fabric, it's something like a canvas, but not quite. Um, in general, it's just, it just gives you a very clean look. You can see, are nicely done. It's actually wrapped around the edge and there's a chamfer right here. So you get a very clean edge. There's no uh, aluminum extrusion visible like there typically would be with SEG. These have very, very clean lines. See it's well lit. There's a little bit of banding on the graphic print though, which, may, yeah, you can kind of see it in the video right there, uh, you know, which is not ideal, but overall, uh, the prints look really nice, and the execution of it also is nice. I'm here at the Square Enix Space and Avengers location. Here at the Avengers, they have these different characters from the Avengers, one of which is covered up. I think overall, these Avengers costumes are a bit boring. Uh, we all know what the Avengers look like. Uh, they have them in these glass cases. They're basically mannequins that have they've dressed up as Avengers. So here behind me you see Wasteland 3. And it's actually nicely done. Uh, with this vehicle they have here at the front corner, uh, along with the snow, uh, it's well done. They have a graphic backdrop. Although it's inexpensive, it really does the job. I mean, you have the foreground element, which is this really cool and interesting car uh, with the environmental aspect around it, which is the snow. And you have the graphic backdrop back there, some game stations overall. There is quite successful. Uh, even the game stations back there, even though there's lots of them, uh, they're interspersed with experiential elements, with themed elements. So it just doesn't look like these giant banks of game stations just plopped into the space. So this is a success. So that's all, folks. Get my bike. Go back to the Airbnb.